hearing. Sound waves propagating as vibrations in the air are detected by our paired auditory organ, consisting of the outer, the middle, and the inner ear. The outer ear, moving from the outside to the inside, is made up of a funnel-like auricle and the external auditory canal. Formed of cartilage, the auricle is responsible for collecting and transmitting vibrations of air to the middle ear. The external auditory canal ends at the flexible eardrum, which protects the internal parts of the ear from the outside world, while also playing a role in transmitting sound. The eardrum begins to resonate under the influence of sound waves and transmits the vibration to the three auditory ossicles in the bony cavity of the middle ear. These little bones receive and transmit the vibrations in sequence towards the inner ear. The first auditory ossicle, the malleus, is directly attached to the eardrum. It transmits the vibrations to the incus and the stapes. The oscillating movement of the stapes spreads to the fluid-filled cochlea, comprising a bony and a membranous labyrinth. As a result of the vibration propagating in the cochlea, the tectorial membrane is pressed against the sensitive hair cells, displacing them. This creates a stimulus that is transmitted to the brain through the cochlear nerve fibers and then the acoustic tract. Everything that we hear is interpreted and processed in the cerebral cortex.